So it's Tuesday on week four of the diet and in my quest to keep below 1500 calories I decided after eating a lot of things that were just very much the same every day um, I have, yeah, I've found a few recipes that I'm going to try that are around the 500 calorie mark or just under um, Today we're trying Thai style noodles and they're completely vegan as well so um, yeah, giving this a go right now, so... So in the wok right now, I think is just butternut squash, some um, Thai curry paste, which is vegan, and some coconut milk. And that's brewing, and then I've got my soybeans here that are going to go in, some udon noodles, obviously vegan, and my pak choy as well. I've only had pak choy once, but I remember I really like it, because I'm a, I'm a big fan of um, cabbage. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to trying this. Yeah, it's it comes to just over, I think it's like 524 calories or something like that. But it's only one serving of noodles. But apparently this serves two. So again, it might just be my really distorted um, view of portions. But we'll see if it, um, if it actually keeps us uh, satisfied for the rest of the day. Here's hoping it tastes as good as it looks. That was amazing yeah um plenty there um although the recipe originally said for three people there's no way i would think that was for three people um i mean the noodles that i used was only meant for one person because you had the soybeans and like the butternut squash and everything in there obviously it meant it was plenty <clears throat> but yeah that was absolutely amazing definitely will be doing that again so today is thursday of week four of the diet um, I've introduced two things back into my diet that I've missed very much. One of them was mushy peas, because I absolutely love them, and the other are these pies. They're meat-free pepper steak style pies, and they are amazing. They are so nice. Absolutely delicious. So yeah, um, I think it was 350 calories per pie. So I was like, well, why not? I'm keeping myself within the 1500 uh, calorie mark. So yeah, I thought I'd have one and it was, oh, it was so good. It was so nice to have pastry and just something with like quite a strong flavour as well. Oh, it was lovely. So yeah, if you've never tried these before, definitely give them a go, especially if you like peppered steak or like just peppered food because it is quite peppery. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. And I'm so pleased that I can actually have these and keep within my calorie, uh, calorie limit. Okay, so today is Sunday of week four of the diet. Um, this week's not been too bad um, in terms of like hunger pangs and sort of missing missing foods, like specific foods and stuff. Because, um, I mean, I've, where I've kind of decided with, with this diet, because where the, the instructions for it were a bit vague, where I've just decided to just make up things as I go along and try and keep like my daily intake to under 1500 calories um, it's just opened up what I can eat so there's a lot more variety in my diet um, obviously it's just strictly plant based and I'm trying to limit um, the vegan the amount of vegan stuff substitutes I have to at least or at the most like once a day sort of thing because um, obviously they can be quite calorific so that's the main reason I'm doing that um, but yeah, it just means I get to get to eat any like anything I want as long as it's as long as it's low fat, pretty much. So like yesterday for dinner, I was able to make my, one of my favourite um, Moroccan lentil soups, or like it's more like a stew because of the amount of water I put in. The lentils just soak up, but it's absolutely delicious. And like a bowl of that is like 450 calories or whatever it is. It's really low, quite low calories for a meal that's really filling. And I got to have a bit of bread with it as well because it was under under the my calorie intake for the day. So yeah, it's just like great things like that. And like um, I've had to be a bit creative the last few days in terms of what I've had. Um, for like lunch and stuff because um because i ran out of my sultana bran so um so like yes i had to have or yesterday and today i had to have peanut butter on toast which is normally what i have for lunch um but yes yeah, so i've had to like change up what i what i had for lunch sort of thing so uh so like today i had a vegan sausage roll that my husband picked up because it was quite low in calories it was only like 290 calories for this like jumbo vegan sausage roll it was really really nice so i had a bag of crisps and some lotus biscuits with it um 
and I'm kind of kicking myself for the fact that I, we've always been buying Lotus Biscoffs because as soon as we knew they were vegan we were like right we're having them because they're just so nice we've been having them since like we took that whole thing of going vegan and but for the diet I was I didn't even think that they would actually be like something I could have because they're just too nice so I bought as my treat some digestive biscuits and they're actually higher in calories almost twice as much as Lotus Biscoff so I was like well well, I've bought a load of packs of, uh, of digestive biscuits so I've got to try and get through them but at least I know now that like four Lotus Biscoffs are like 150 calories it's like nothing and that's like just a really nice little snack to have so um so yeah once the digestive biscuits are gone I'll just make sure I just buy extra Lotus Biscoffs and I'll have them if I can fit the calorie intake in so um so there's that um i'm hope i'm i'm thinking i've lost a bit of weight this week um it's annoying because i'm still not able to run um my runs have, have still taken a, a dive as well like I'm, I'm currently sporting a fetching um ankle brace for those that have, that have seen it like my ankle support band thing um on social media yeah because uh my husband bought it the other day when he went shopping because uh because my ankle like I've, I've not run now on Tuesday it will be two weeks since I actually took a run and I don't see me um, running on Tuesday either because there's just something not right with my ankle it's just it's constantly there's constant twinges in it and I don't really want to try and run until I don't feel any twinges anymore because I'm just scared of making it worse um, I spoke to a physio friend um, online about it and I told like where the pain is and stuff well, it's not even pain it's just more like discomfort um and knowing it's there sort of thing um and she says it's probably li ligaments i've like torn some ligaments because apparently there's quite a few in your ankle so um she said but because uh, she, she's not able to physically look at look at it in person she can't be sure but she says that's what it sounds like so um i haven't looked up how long they actually take to heal but um but yeah i'm just trying to not walk on it as much as possible or when i am walking out i've got this support anyway and just keeping it elevated um when I when I sit down sort of thing um so yeah and I'm not going on any walks so I'm not losing like burning any calories that way so that's why I'm really sort of strictly trying to keep to as low a calories as possible like 1500 calories um if I was running or walking then I'd, I'd allow myself to go over that a little bit but because I'm not I'm, I'm trying to be a bit more stricter with myself but I'm not starving if people worry about that I'm not starving myself I'm, I'm making sure I am eating don't worry I might get like really hungry before or like before a meal but um like before breakfast before lunch before dinner but I'm not like starving after I've eaten I'm 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 full I'm happy so so don't be worrying about that um but yeah I'm hoping I've lost at least a pound but we'll see when I weigh myself tomorrow and tomorrow is the first of a new week in terms of it will be the same as um like the last two weeks but I get to have two cheat meals so I'm kind of deciding what I'm going to have as my two cheat meals and I think I said in the last video um I'm not going to I'm not going to do the two meals one after the other so to speak so like Friday I'll have a cheat meal and then Saturday I'll have a cheat meal because I think that will really sort of screw up how much weight I'm losing I'm, I'm kind of in that sort of frame of mind as well that I'm I'm apprehensive to have a cheat meal because I'm just like will it really affect how many calories I'm losing or how many like but yeah how much weight I'm losing because at the moment obviously where I'm being quite strict and I'm only losing like one to two pounds so I'm just thinking oh will it mean that I'm my my uh, weight loss will then just kind of stop but we'll see I guess I can just try this week and then if it doesn't work out like if I don't lose any weight um because I think I have yeah I have two cheat meals this like this coming week and then after that like the week after that it's a cheat day rather than two cheat meals I think so um so yes yeah, so I have like a full cheat day but then I didn't know what I would actually do for a cheat day I think I'd rather I'd probably yeah just have whatever I want for well, I guess I can have like my sausage sandwich that I used to love having for breakfast I can have um I could have like a ready-made sandwich or something from the from the shops I don't know um I think it's just yeah just about not watching calories that day and see how I get on but um but yeah so that's currently how it how it is um let's see tomorrow how I actually get on in terms of how much weight I've lost this week 
fingers crossed I'm still keeping up and, and losing something at least something's better than nothing we'll see so it's Monday of week five of the diet um, I've just weighed myself and I've lost another 2.2 pounds um, on the diet so that's in total I think over 12 pounds now I think um, which I'm very happy with because obviously I'm so tantalisingly close now to have lost a stone. I can't believe it. Um, I feel a bit like swollen today, like I look like really puffy, but I think that's because my hay fever is just literally I woke up with a bunged up nose this morning, which is just ridiculous. <laughs> it's like you know it's going to be a bad day with your hay fever when you wake up with a bunged up nose, seriously. So, so yeah, I feel very swollen today. Um, but yeah, so I'm now officially the lightest um, I've been this year in 2020 because I was um, I'd gained quite a bit of weight um, at the at the end of last year. So obviously, beginning of the year, I was quite heavy. Um, so I've got another six pounds left to lose, and then I'm officially the lightest I've been since Bubs was born. Um, cause yeah, like I, I gained quite a lot of weight. It's, it's funny cause like last year I just didn't care about what I ate. I ate loads, but I think it was cause I was obviously breastfeeding full time. So, uh, so the weight was coming off that way. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, like I look, look at pictures of like when we took Bubs on our first, um, or in his first trip to Florence and yeah, I was quite, I look at like me then compared to now and I'm like, wow, I was actually quite slim. Although obviously but before then I was like the heaviest I've been when I wasn't pregnant, so, uh, so yeah, that was quite funny, but, um, but yeah, so this week is, um, I get two cheat meals, so yeah, I'm currently trying to think about what those cheat meals can be, I have a feeling I might do the chilli, um, and make that one of the cheat meals, because uh, me and my husband have agreed that the chilli and the curry should be, uh, should be meals that we have as a treat, or when we have, um, guests or whatever, rather than, um, a weekly thing, because they are quite calorific. And we've, we're currently just um, discovering a load of new lower calorie meals that we can actually have. So, uh, so yeah, so they don't have to be our staples because that was what the problem was originally. We just didn't feel like we had enough choice on what we could eat. So, uh, so yes, that's good. But I think I'll do the chilli this week as a treat for the, for the two of us because we haven't had it in a while. Um, and then we'll probably have like, well, I might have, um, go to the local chippy and get their chips. Because their chips are so nice. <laughs> that will be like my my second cheat meal I think but we'll see how the week goes and hopefully I might be able to actually start running as well this week because that's why I'm quite um, pleased about the fact that I've lost two pounds in a week and I haven't even set foot outside the house pretty much because of my ankle so, uh, so yeah so hopefully I might actually start running this week I thought that I might not because my ankle was quite sore but I'll see how today goes I guess but I've got my support on and uh, and there's barely any twinges in my ankle but like I said I'm just taking each day as it comes and we'll see. I'd love to go run it tomorrow but I doubt that's going to happen. Maybe by the end of the week, I don't know, we'll see. But anyway I've got to go because my nose is really bunged up now and I don't want to be like sniffing all the time on there. Yay for hay fever. <laughs> Just forgot I need to sign off, didn't I? Because obviously this is the end of the video. So yeah, hope you're enjoying my videos and uh, I'll see you next week to see how much more weight I lose.